All right, this is the pre-return phase. You wanna get this, like you know, like you wanna relax your mind. I'm not. I don't focus until I drop my racket down. Okay. I use physical cues. I fix the strings. I focus visually on something really far away to relax. Normally, it's the sky. You might hit your leg to remind you. <clears throat> get your feet going. Get your brain and body going. Happy feet. So right here is where I call myself getting the batter's box. Right here. I'm focusing right here. And then I'm visualizing what I'm going to do. I clear my head. Make sure I'm, I'm really zeroed in. There should be no thoughts going to your brain. And in my brain, I'm visualizing what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit the backhand cross court, the forehand inside out. Um, my forehand takes a slightly different angle than my backhand. There are three things that are going to happen in the serve, right? It's going to go wide, body, or middle. And so I visualize what's going to happen in either one. If it goes body, I'm going to hit a backhand. Okay. If I'm really in trouble, I'm going to hit a lob. So those are my options. That's what I'm thinking about doing before the point even begins. Racket down. Remind me to keep the racket close to my body. A little split step in coming in. I'm going to try a block and return. I focus on staying low and have a short backswing. It's open stance, so there's a slight... Notice I also see my left hand on the racket to prevent me from having a really big backswing and to prep my backhand because it's also a grip change thing so the left hand changes the grip for me notice I, I step out the hips are squared to the court look at the weight on my knee I push off with the right leg and the left hand stabilizes my thing there's a big shoulder turn right here see I think of my shoulder being by my head it, it's uh, left shoulder by my chin and then I think about rotating my right shoulder comes around but not on my back end, only on my forehand. Look at that swing. Now here's the interesting thing. Swing the arm, keep the body still. Hit the ball, then move in. You have to let your body snap to the ball, then move to maximize your power. You step in while your body's swinging. It's like moving a car and trying to throw. You know, you want to transfer weight, let your arm snap to the shot. Keep the head still. Finish your shot and then move in. And here we see the whole thing again. Pre-return, you're focusing. You want to have this because some people have like really weird motions. And so you don't want to focus until the last second. Now, here's another idea. Play the score. If you're up, keep doing what you've been doing. Even do what you do best. And if you're behind, be aggressive. Those are big things. You know, playing the score. Because, you know, some people play the score and they, they go up and they, they do crazy things because they're like, oh, I'm ahead. No, you keep doing what you've been doing. Don't break the flow. Rack it down. Remind yourself, keep it close to my body. Split. Now, the forehand's a little bit different. Okay, shoulder on my uh, left chin. I'm going to rotate the shoulders completely around. Left hand the racket to turn. Except my left shoulder. Um, split step. In, knees bent. The forehand's a little bit different though. Make sure you keep your balance, keep your knees bent. Straight position, look at the left arm out for balance. Okay, and then watch the impact and watch my racket face. See, I go almost all the way around and then watch my hips also. What are my hips doing? I face the, the right side of the court and then my hips face the left side of the court. For complete rotation, okay. Look at the racket angle; it's parallel to the ground. Uh, it'd be better if my legs were bent and I stayed down, but I can't. I come up with my forehand all the time. Um, especially in the flat shots to my forehand, I should stay down longer. But watch the racket face; so it goes all the way over. Then look at my hips. What are my hips doing? Okay. Um, I should clear my left arm out. It shouldn't be like that, where I'm coming up and over my left arm. My left arm should be up. Okay, look at the rotation. I'm completely turned the opposite way. Okay, that, that reminds you to get a complete turn. It starts with the body, the feet up to your hips, to your shoulders, and then you, you follow through. And then after you complete the shot, then you move in.